5 Fun Facts About The Dark Knight You Might Not Know Number 1. To prepare for the role of the Joker, Heath Ledger isolated himself in a hotel room for six weeks. It was enough time for him to develop every tick of his character. He didn't want the Joker's laugh to mimic that of Jack Nicholson's Joker from 1989, so he made it more sadistic sounding. The psychology of Ledger's Joker was based on the character of Alex DeLarge from the movie A Clockwork Orange played by Malcolm McDowell, and his look was based on English punk rock bassist, Sid Vicious. Number 2. In the beginning of each film of the Dark Knight trilogy, the main villain, Ra's al Ghul, the Joker, and then Bane disguises himself as one of his own henchmen. And there is always a conversation about the villain itself in each of these scenes. The similarity in the end of the movies is that Bruce Wayne or Batman always has the last on-screen conversation with Jim Gordon. Number 3. When Commissioner Gordon meets with Batman in the bank, he holds up the picture taken of the Joker by the security camera during his bank robbery. The date that's displayed on the bottom of the photo is the date of the movie's US theatrical release date, July 18, 2008. Number 4. When Harvey Dent points the revolver at the Joker in the hospital and uses his coin to decide whether or not to kill him, he puts his finger on the gun's hammer to keep Dent from shooting him, in case the coin lands on the you die side instead of the you live side. Also in this scene the name tag of the Joker's dress says Nurse Hemming, which was a small joke made by costume designer Lindy Hemming. Number 5. One of the Joker's ticks in the movie was the constant licking of his lips. In the 2017 documentary, I Am Heath Ledger, Jerry Grenell the actor's former vocal coach revealed that every time Ledger spoke, he had to do it to prevent his prosthetic scars from coming off. In the end, he made this tick a part of his character. Plus 1. In the final fight in the building, Batman pulls the Joker up using his grapple gun and saves him from falling just before the police officers arrive to arrest the villain. At the end of the movie Batman, the title hero also uses his grapple gun, but in that case it causes the Joker to fall to his death. Did we miss any good fun facts about the movie? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching and take care.